96%. I mean, that is why Mina is her. She is like the poster girl of the defense forces. So she has to be cracked. But 96? God damn. But I wonder what is the equivalent to that for like the monster, right? Like we had like a 9.8 fortitude. I'm sure that if, you know, um, if Kafka was in monster form, that he could stand beside her. But unfortunately, right now, we're not able to. Now, it seems like everything has been good so far, but phase two is coming. Remember that guy, the kaiju that was sentient? That's like giving life forms to other things. That guy was going around giving reproductive organs to the other kaiju that we took out last episode. So he is out here basically trying to make the kaijus grow even stronger and... Hopefully, this episode, we get to see Kafka pop off. Last episode, at the very least, we had Mina popping off and Hoshino popping off. The vice captain, yeah, he's pretty sick. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Hmm? Yeah, the other card you put it in there, right? Oh, we're doing a recap of this? They're doing it again. I'm, da I'm down for this recap. Show me the... And then these two ran into the janitor guy, right? Uh-oh. Surely our boy Ishikawa's gonna be alright, right? Kaiju number nine is the title. What? Okay, dude. Okay, so the new guy's got to be Kaiju number nine, right? Who's Kaiju number eight? Kafka's Kaiju number eight? And then the, the new guy that's like giving powers to different Kaiju, they're, they're number nine? Kafka <laughs> That's the left side. That's the that's that's his left side. That's the heart. Okay, is he's kind of okay. Well, we were talking about how characters could just die, right? Hoshina was saying like, don't get close, right? Like, imagine how many people have died and just like you know, and a new cohort comes up and dies and over and over. So like. Are they really gonna kill this guy off? Miss Tart, Miss Tart, Miss Tart. Oh, 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 does he have his other kaiju buddies? Is there like an executive council of kaijus? Jam. He can jam comms? Why is he so smart? Dude, oh, that's a chunk out of the leg. Reno, you're too important to die. What? Damn, Reno, you remember that shit? Damn, I should have fucking paid attention. Okay, okay, so she already tipped us off. Nice! Ice bullet. Cause you're shot down. Blame yourself. Saves him again, man. <laughs> this is his King Baro moment, bro, from Blue Lock. I wasn't the king. Bro is realizing that shit. Reno is actually part of the main character squad. I was just a fucking NPC to, you know, gas, you know, glaze him up, make him look good. You can buy time. For senpai. <laughs> this isn't Yaoi, but goddamn, bro. The Kafka Reno ship, bro. Let's fucking go. That's how we see Kafka? That's actually so wholesome. 
faster, Yaru. Come on. Bro, come on, man. Do something about it. Maybe Iharu's gonna have a cool moment. Maybe he's gonna go beyond 20 to 30%. Let's see it. If we're gonna have this backstory right now, Iharu. Because he doesn't even think that you're competition. While Iharu is too busy chasing after Reno's back, which is so wrong from the beginning, all Reno cares about is getting better and just moving forward. Also, it kind of helps that Reno is obviously, you know, Kafka's buddy, who is the main character. No, I just got lucky. My man came back. I was getting a little disappointed, Eiraru. I was getting a little upset how he just mauling and not doing anything. But bro, did he just fucking save the shotgun blast? Going beyond 20-30% here. I'd like to think he surpassed this limit there. Ooh. It's your stagnation. Insecurities. Here we go. He's correcting his, like, focus. <laughs> okay. I don't think you're saving anyone right now, bro. <laughs> but hey, he already had his moment. He just saved Iharu there. Sorry, uh, Reno there. <laughs> Kaiju number nine doesn't understand Yaoi right here. <laughs> Ka Ka Dude. Kaiju number nine is like, hmm. What? Are Usually it's a guy and a girl. What's going on right now? I need to understand these humans more. Is this what they call Yaoi? <laughs> Bro's carefully studying the bromance. Oh God. Like, we literally can't move? This is like his domain? I'm sure Kafka could run in here, right? Beyond 30. What's the percent? <laughs> Yo, imagine the font next is like 97. Yo, that would be crazy. Nah, I don't see it happening. There's no shot. He's gonna sit 97, bro. What is it? What's the number? I'm just gonna assume it's higher than 30 right now. Was he always that big? What the fuck? No. Armor. <laughs> yeah, we're fucked. Someone? Yeah. Kafka! No, they wouldn't kill him off. They they wouldn't kill him off like that's that's a lot of bullets. That's that's a lot of fucking bullets. That's that's like um right through the stomach, multiple rounds through the chest. That's like three to the fucking chest, one to the fucking stomach. That's that's kind of looking pretty bad. Like uh, I believe in them. How is he gonna live? These are not donuts. If you're Canadian, these are called Timbits, little little donuts. <laughs> because of the domain. Or maybe they did have contact until they just got fucked right now and they're just gone now. Go save your buddy, bro. Yes, you did. It, it, it moved. Kaiju number nine. He's gonna live. He, he can walk it off. Cause he wants to take him back as like experiments, right? Downloaded.
Well, the lucky thing is, he's not trying to kill. He's just trying to take them back for experimentation. So, Iharu and Renault, they're gonna be fine. The damage there was not too lethal. Now, this should be where Kafka shows up, right? Or Shinomiya. Or fucking Hoshina. Mina. More? Oh, stop, dude! Dude, what did Renault do to deserve this? This is gonna make Iharu to do the most classic shonen power up thing. It's like, oh, I felt powerless. I need more power. So next start, he's gonna be training, remembering this. I was so powerless. If only I had Shikara. Let's go. Ah, no bullet. That was such a good. Oh, Iharu might actually die. That was actually such a good speech. Like, bro had the whole build-up. Bro had the entire fucking build-up of the speech and then no fucking bullet. How are you gonna fucking do this to me? No! Okay, uh... He might actually die right now. Kafka show up. Kafka, Shinomiya, Hoshina. Preemptive salute? Call upon the kaiju. Kaiju 8. The hero! Come on! Ooh. There it is! Yo! He didn't get blown up into fucking rain of blood though! That was fucking sick, dude. Oh my god, the fucking anticipation and the build-up for this, dude. Everyone knew Kafka was gonna show up, but it's like, oh my god, the entire build-up. And then Kafka's voice here? Hear the monster voice. Isn't there like a One Piece meme? Isn't there like a One Piece meme with fucking Akainu showing up behind? You know, or no, no, it's a white beard showing up behind Akainu. It's like, you're just like doing this and someone else be appears from behind like that. This is such a fucking memeable panel. I don't think he listen, bro. Imagine if like Kaiju ate Kafka, like his the, the nipple piss is like a potion. Could you imagine? Like, yeah, we can fight and stuff, but we can't really do healing. But like if he could piss out his nipples and like breastfeed, you know, Reno, and then it's like this is the way to like potion and heal him. <laughs> No, chill, chill, chill. <gasps> Iharu also knows now. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. The secret's out. And if the more people know, maybe he's the other person that's gonna know the secret and will keep quiet because, you know, he glazes Reno. That's that's so crazy how the suit can like close the wounds one by one. They mentioned how like the suits could stop the bleeding, but god damn, these suits are advanced. <laughs> Comedic relief while your bro is dying. <laughs> can you think Red okay fucking will listen? <laughs> Here's some jokes, bro. You okay? Alright, bye. Alright. No cliffhanger, please. No cliffhanger. We still have a bunch left. Okay, we actually took damage. Holy! Dude, the monster voice is so good. I don't know what they're doing with it, bro. But like, holy shit, the monster voice. And as soon as like Renu was talking, it just cut off, right? Like, so do you think that like Eminence and Shadow had a little bit of d to do with this? A conspiracy theory, probably not. I'm glazing Eminence and Shadow too much. But like the first time I truly saw like a difference in like how the animes were taking like, you know, like voices or sounds and you know how they do the I'm atomic thing and everyone's like, oh my god, so peak, right? 
<laughs> you, and, and, Cause like if that wasn't there, do you think that he would just talk in regular voice? If that wasn't there? I don't know. I don't know. I would like to think maybe people saw how crazy people were glazing Eminence and Shadow I'm Atomic moment because of the voice alter. And they're like, you know what? Put that shit in Kaiju 8 too. <laughs> In before a common saying. <laughs> Actually, Kaka TV, back in 1982, there was an enemy that was already. Shut the fuck up. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm glad there's other fucking enemies. This is it. <laughs> With this voice? Wait, wait, wait. What was that? She just yelled, and it looked like there was a barrier here. Right? Okay, bro. Oy, oy. Nah, no, bust through it. Mm. Why is he so strong? Rain of blood, let's go. Whoa, 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 what is this shit? Thank you, Silver Bullet, for the gifted tier one sub. What is going on here? You see the plant on the ground? His leg. What is the leg happening, bro? It's like bolstering. It's to uh, pivot off of it. Oh. Yeah. Not quite rain of blood, but, you know, he's pretty much done. Take the core out. Step on that core, bro. Stomp that shit. Holy fuck. Can you believe this is the same guy? It's just, it's it's the boomer, bro. It's the comedic relief OG Sam, bro. And that is the beauty of it, right? You take a character like Kafka, who is so unassumingly like below average, or just, just like normal, like comedic relief, right? Running gag, butt of the joke. And then you have the transition to this, the gap moe, man. That's the the, the the drastic, you know, the difference there is why it's so fucking sick. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, okay, what do we do about this? Do we kill them? We shouldn't kill our own teammates. But like, oh no, a lot of people know who we are. <laughs> kill him? <laughs> we see this girl with an axe in the trailer, right? Like one of these days she's gonna get a different weapon. She was like, this gun's fucking shit. Let me get a fucking random street pole, bro. Alright. New mechanic. Kaijus can sense other kaijus? I don't know. But Kafka definitely could sense it, even if we didn't know where Reno and Iharu was. There's some kind of like connection. That's us. Oh no, Cow! Vice Captain's showing up! Everyone knows now the secrets of fucking out. Well, they don't know it's Kafka, but they know the existence of Kaiju 8. I mean, they kind of already did. They were basically at the crime scenes before, but now it's just like, holy shit, it's right here. <laughs> Oh shit, he's still up. <laughs> we had all the fucking chance to stomp the core and end Kaiju 9. But thanks to these fucking idiots, bro. Thanks to these fucking idiots. Oh my god, dude. Classic, classic. Well, you know what? I, I think ending Kaiju number 9 here would have been anticlimactic, right? It's like sentient Kaiju has appeared. He's like trying to give other kaijus more life and make them even stronger this is a pretty interesting threat and he's only going to continue to get like smarter and smarter so it is an l from obviously the other dudes but for the sake of the story i think it's fine it's probably better this way also he said something about mimetic space right what did he say the mimetic space was destroyed Bro, mimetic space? What the fuck? Am I playing Honkai Star Rail, Pinaconi with fucking black swans talking about mimetic shit? But I guess it's the domain. It is the domain. Right, right, right. Okay, it is the domain. So he was domain. And then, and then he just basically stalled. So what destroyed the domain? 
Kafka's punch itself or, you know, the other guy going down. Or maybe like our soldiers were able to shoot the domain down. <laughs> And that's the scary thing about this guy. He just keeps learning, gets smarter and smarter. It's like a, it's like a mini AI that's just like stupid in the beginning, but it just keeps learning. It just keeps learning, and it's like kind of scary, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, it'd be really convenient if, if that guy killed us too far. Uh, I would have totally let him die. <laughs> But also, now that we've proven that we were able to protect the humans, right? These two are going to vouch for maybe Kafka. Say, holy shit, it's a kaiju that protected humans. It must be good. Bye, Kaiju 9. <laughs> what? 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 He punched the ground, right? I thought he, he jumped. He punched the ground for like smoke and then boom. How did he fucking... What? That was so fast. That's the impact and then... Whoa. You can kind of see it, I think. Wait, wait. Do you see it? I'm not sure if that's really close, but like you see like the boom and then there's a bunch of the road that's like cut down straight from that position all the way down and then up to, you know, his position. But I doubt that this is the path he took to run out. Nah, probably not. Just a coincidence. <laughs> Please, hope that you don't run to Hoshino. Why are you in the back alley? I, I don't like this. Why are you in the back alley? Why uh, is someone gonna show up out of the fucking back alley? This is not good. Why, why this is so bad? You fucking transform right now, please. Why are you in the back alley, bro? <laughs> We're cooked. We're cooked. We're cooked. Why are you in the back alley? We're cooked. Oh shit, and he should excel here, right? Like, this is his map. He's like good with small, medium size, and also like narrow spaces or something. Oh no. <laughs> Sup, senpai? I don't know who we should be more scared of. Kaiju number nine or Hoshina about to fucking cook us. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> now we gotta fight him next episode. Uh, I am your man. <laughs> but also, it might be better that it is Hoshina. The matchup here is we're pretty much cooked. But Hoshina was one of the few people that had some suspicion, some kind of hunch, right? Yeah, he admitted Kafka and based off of comedic relief. But didn't he also kind of like hint or suggest that, hmm... He was always like, there's some connection he made with all the crime scenes with Kaiju 8 doing it in Kafka, right? That's why he wanted to keep a close eye. So I'm sure he has suspicious suspicions. And once he can confirm it, maybe he will vouch for us. Just like Eden Yeager, right? Who, who was the equivalent of this guy? Hanji. Hanji is equivalent right now. Maybe he will vouch for us. <laughs> or maybe he's closer to Levi, honestly. Holy shit. Those purple blades, man. Yeah? Is he serious? No more smiling? What I say? I mean, he's done this a couple times, but when the anime characters that always close their eyes, when they open their eyes, you know it's serious. Yo! Permission to release limiter? Have we heard this before? Maybe Mina said that before. But captains and vice captains intentionally have a limiter placed on them? Did Mina say this, releasing limiter when she was about to fire the fire fire it? Or is this the first time that we actually heard of a limiter? I don't know, but bro has a fucking limiter? <laughs> Nine two Man, this shit just keeps getting more peak. I thought last episode with Mina popping off and Hoshina doing a little bit of this was fucking sick, but it's like, no, no, no! Kaiju number nine gonna show up! And in today's episode, honestly, it wasn't even just Kafka. Reno and Iharu. I've been kind of shitting on Iharu, but come on. Let's get real. Iharu is written in a way to be fucking annoying until he has the realization that he's being the same person and the person that he should be mad at is himself for not moving forward. And once he had that realization, so much better. Actually saved Reno. And Reno, 
this dude just keeps moving fucking forward. I was really wondering like how they're gonna be able to make a character like him who seems so normal to be able to pair it with Kafka in the beginning and to and for him to like scale into the end game. But he is like he is gonna be a captain at this rate, right? He is actually gonna be a captain. Even Iharu was like, you know what? I could see the future. I gotta you know preserve his future. Kaiju number nine is so interesting because he seems dumb. And he is dumb right now, but he learns so fast. As he keeps learning, he's not going to make the same mistakes again. He's quick to adapt. We should have really killed him here. But if we did, then I think the story would be a little bit boring. It is really compelling to have this monster who is sentient and is constantly learning and evolving. It's going to be a monstrous fucking threat. I can't even gauge his like, you know, his threat level because his threat level continues to grow as he learns. Now, uh, Reno stuff, Iharu stuff was sick, but I guess the main person, right? The main person that really popped off today, Kafka, dude. Holy shit, he is so fucking sick, man. His punches, he couldn't even keep up. Kaiju number nine was like, you know what? I can't take this anymore. There's nothing I can either do about it. And when we could have taken him out of the fucking NPC squads. I mean, we knew this was going to happen at one point, right? Uh, he can't just like go into a mission and hope that vision is gone and turn into kaiju and save the day he has to kind of integrate with the team and right now it might seem bad with you know vice captain hoshin that's showing up but like i think that after we have a cool fight next episode there may be possibility that hoshina knew this from all along because he kind of hints at it beyond you know just basic comedic relief and maybe he is going to vouch for us, just like how Levi and Hanji kind of did in Attack on Titan. And if so, we can have our own special squad. The fucking anti-kaiju kaiju squad or something. And then we're, and then we're fucking balling out. And then I wonder how Mina's going to feel about it. But it's not just over yet. Remember, next episode, we're going to actually have, you know, Hoshina versus Kafka. That's going to be even fucking better. I just hope the next episode isn't like five minutes of fighting. And the rest is just wrap up and then filler and just backups, you know, and just fucking, you know, uh, set up stuff. And then we go to the next arc. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other episodes for a uh, playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.